you think Taipei is a very expensive place? Not really. It's compared to the other countries' capitals. Taipei is not very expensive. I'm Eugene and in today's episode of Economics vs Everything, we are going to talk about the cost of living in Singapore. We will be reminded of articles that comes out very frequently and says how Singapore is one of the most expensive cities to live in in the world. So the Economist Intelligence Unit will always consistently rank Singapore as one of the most expensive cities to live in in the world. When doing such comparisons, one of the indicators that is commonly used will be GDP per capita. Is using GDP per capita the right indicator to use? Singapore has twice the GDP per capita as compared to Taiwan. Does this mean that standard of living is twice as high in Singapore as compared to Taiwan? I'm meeting Ted in Taipei to find out the facts. Do you think Taipei is a very expensive place? Not really. It's compared to the other countries. Capital. Taipei is not very expensive, but it's the most expensive in Taiwan. It's around maybe 27 or 28. We talk about an apartment, three bedrooms in the city. Yeah, it's maybe, I think it's maybe around 20 to 25,000. So we found out that actually things are not that cheap in Taipei after all and quite a number of things that we have in Singapore cost about the same in Taipei. When we talk about standard of living, we should be looking at both the material standard of living and the non-material standard of living. So for material standard of living, we're looking at how much you can buy with the income that you have. So the more goods and services you can buy, that will actually imply a higher material standard of living. Non-material standard of living looks at the quality of life. Things like you know how polluted your environment is, do you have a lot of leisure time, do you feel stressed, you know, um, the number of working hours you have, the amount of education you have received, the quality of healthcare you have received, these are all things that we want to look at when we are talking about non-material standard of living. So let's move on to tech. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think Taiwan is the most different. Uh, because most of Taiwanese people live in Taipei and Taipei is a very rush city. Rush, yeah, that makes people feel stressed. I, I don't think so, not really. Most of the things in Taiwan is expensive for most of the people because they only earn 40,000. Yeah, but they have to pay a lot of bills or anything. Yeah, so it's very stressing in Taiwan. Pay. So of course, tech just provides a view of one person. In any case, we should also take the economy survey with a pinch of salt. Now why is that so? The economy survey is meant for expatriates. If it's meant for expatriates, it is using a less commonly used basket of goods and services. The economy survey measures these salaries in USD, but because Sing dollar has been appreciating against the USD over the last decade, so things in Singapore would have appeared to become more expensive. So thank you for watching Economics vs Everything. I am Eugene and I'm from Economics Education Genius. We'll see you next time.